Incremental greetings. Welcome to N School Celebrity Podcast, episode 15. Today we have with us uh, Paul from Canada. He is a mathematician. No, you're not. <laughs> he, I am. Okay, he's a mathematician, he's a researcher on quantum foundations, and he has been using math and speech repetition for about eight years. Welcome, Paul. Thanks for having me, Guillaume. Could you um, say your name that I know it's in French? It is uh, Paul Raymond Robichaud. Nice. But you can call me Paul, it's fine. Yeah, it's just Paul. Nice. And today uh, we have a kind of different format because usually uh, the guest um, shares his experience with the schooling and so on. But today we will have a discussion. And especially the topic is uh, free learning mathematics. Because usually people doesn't correlate those two ideas that math cannot be free learned. What, what do you think about that? Um, I think that most people do not believe uh, it is possible to learn uh, by oneself most topics, but that, that's only because they have been into uh, an environment where all the learning is coerced for so long that they no longer uh, know uh, or understand that it's possible to learn on one's own. The, the fact that uh, most people have been in schools for, for so long where all learning is coerced lead to a, a distorted vision of the process of learning. An analogy, as uh, someone on this uh, Discord server told me once, is that uh, studying how people learn in school is a bit like studying how uh, dolphins uh, interact and exist by restricting it to looking at them in an aquarium rather than in the wild. Hmm. So uh, everyone who's try learning on his own know that it's possible. Oh, nice analogy. So a dolphin in captivity versus in wild uh, nature. The behavior will be uh, radically different. Uh, mm. Animals uh, in captivity uh, have all kind of pathological behavior, mm. uh, but that doesn't tell you uh, anything about how they behave in the wild. Nice, nice. So the main issue is that virtually everyone uh, is coerced to study math, but I think that where you're going at is that it is too soon. They just start too soon. I'm not sure I understand your point. Oh, that so everyone more or less is coerced uh, to do math at the, the school system. Yes. But is the issue the coercion or also is the early instruction that they start coercing uh, math way too soon? The people are too young to start math. Um, so. I don't think people are too young. The, the, the main issue is, is really the, the coercion. Uh, if you see a, a four years old, they will have mathematical questions often. The, uh, they, they might even be able to understand a concept like, like zero. Uh, they will be very curious, uh, some of them at least, about how to add number, how to subtract, uh, and, uh, or uh, they, they might find funny to count backward and forward. Uh, but no, the, the, the real main issue has nothing to do with age. It has everything to do with the fact that people are coerced to learn mm. math. And that's why uh, most people strongly dislike math. Hmm, I see. Yeah, I'm including myself in, in this bucket, package. But um, may I ask, I know people who are using a free learning and a speed repetition, but they think that speed repetition or free learning is not suitable for math. I think that is kind of a mainstream uh, idea. That it is not suitable for math. Um, it is true that math requires uh, more skills than, uh, let's say when you're learning a language, it's relatively easy uh, to uh, enter the definition of a word and uh, to say what word is that. Uh, the, mm. the skills are not as uh, complex. Or if I wanted to learn uh, all the state and all the, the capitals of the world against, the, these are relatively easy questions. So uh, it's true that math is a bit particular in the sense that uh, knowledge, formulation, skills are much more important. Mm -hmm. And 
for, for that, it might be slightly more difficult, but hardly impossible. I, I just want to, to remind you that there are many very complex skills that uh, even uh, small children can uh, master. For instance, they, they can all learn how to speak a language, mm -hmm. yet uh, it has incredibly complex rules, uh, and they can do it. Or they, they can learn how... Uh, virtually every child uh, learn how to read and write, even in absence of coercion. And yet, uh, it, it is uh, an extremely complex uh, skills where you have to uh, associate a symbol sequence of symbols with uh, uh, nouns, which uh, themselves you have to associate with ideas in a way that respect grammatical rules. And, and yet, uh, kids can do it. Hmm. So, uh, or or you could you could say the same for many many complex tasks that that seems. Uh, insurmountable but the truth is they are not hmm so it's it's a myth um that you cannot learn space uh, uh mathematics with space repetitions uh it certainly is a, a myth uh i am a counter example and i know many other on this very server hmm. uh it, it can be done certainly what is true is that uh it, it requires a certain kind of skill a set of skills and a certain attitude hmm. uh but nothing further than that. Okay. And why... I'm generalizing here. But why most mathematicians or people who use math on their work or laser, they think they cannot relearn in the sense that, oh, the first thing I will do is to get a book, a textbook, and follow that like a religion. Well, uh, I have the impression that most people have a, let's say an aversion or a fear to free learn is oh let me go there and ex mm, and learn this specifically about math but with that with no curriculum no set curriculum i'm not sure if this is completely true if i observe people uh, mm -hmm. let's say someone want to learn how to uh, improve a car Lots and lots of people will just watch videos on YouTube for the particular problem they're interested in mm -hmm. and uh, develop wider and wider knowledge about the topics until they, they uh, uh, have a much higher understanding of cars. Uh, and uh, the, the same can be said about many different topics. Uh, what is What can be said is that most people that start might start by replicating patterns they have, they have seen previously, like in school, mm -hmm. and they, they might start with the idea of a curriculum, and they will quickly learn to, to discard the idea as, as they uh, progress along. So I don't think it's necessarily wrong that they try uh, first with a curriculum. As long as it's done freely, uh, I, I think they will quickly discard the, the curriculum. I see. So eventually, um, even if they start, using a curriculum, eventually they will move on. They will see that there's no need to follow the, um, everything, right? As in school. Because the difference is that you are learning. You're not, you don't have exams for this, you, right? The pressure that led to the curriculum are no longer there when you're learning for pleasure. Hmm. Uh, so you, you might start uh, with this as a starting point, but uh, it, it will disintegrate. Uh, so uh, the same can be true about many other activities. For instance, uh, let's say a person has been uh, used to read books linearly, and you introduce a person to Wikipedia. Of mm. course, most I know no one who read a, a page of Wikipedia uh, line by line from mm. start to finish, because uh, their, their motivation and goals uh, will conflict with the, this kind of linear reading. Mm. And in the same way, if you are a free learner, uh, your motivation and goals will uh, conflict with the curriculum. You will naturally follow uh, your curiosity rather than uh, that which was imposed in terms of structure toward you. And for instance, I, I heard a lot of users uh, um, asking the, uh, what's the point? So uh, they don't see an applicability of this knowledge. Yes, I can learn everything I want from math, but I, I won't be applying this on my real life. Again, I think we should distinguish between uh, course mathematics and uh, self-chosen uh, mathematics. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's true that in the current moment, many people are coerced to learn math that uh, they might never uh, apply in their own life. And I agree with them with saying, what is the point of uh, uh, doing things for which I've been coerced and for which I see no reason and no application? Nevertheless, 
I, I've met many people who were not uh, mathematicians, and as soon as they start to see uh, the, the value of doing math, because they, there's another problem that interests them that requires mathematics, hmm. they will start to learn math uh, on on themselves. So uh, I, I I think it's it's fair and valid to say what's the point if I will not uh, apply it or use it. Uh, the, the point of doing math is that you, you should either uh, enjoy it for, for the mere, mere sake of it because you find it beautiful or because you, you see a point toward it. And uh, in free learning, you, you, you will do it for either of these reasons and they're both uh, valid reasons. Uh, but the, the problem is indeed that in course learning, the, the question what is the point is there and uh, it is in many, many cases uh, pointless. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree on that, but my question was just for free learning, uh, not the course. And you said that uh, even if there's no applicability, just for the pleasure of learning this math, it's itself, let's say, the reward. Um, that will be true for some people, hmm. but not all. And I, I don't think it should be viewed as desirable or as a state that other people should be uh, trying to reach. Hmm. Uh, so uh, if someone find math beautiful, it is reason enough uh, to do math. The, the same if a person find uh, applications. Uh, but if someone find neither application nor beauty, uh, I, I think I, I see no reason for that person to do math or any other topic, really. Uh -huh. And I, I just want to say many of the things we've discussed so far are, are not that particular to mathematics. They're particular to uh, learning in general. Oh, such a good observation. Exactly. Because th that's, that's a good point, because usually people think that math is like one special uh, entity that for whatever reason, it's harder or it has a special value. I don't know how to describe it. It might be special mm -hmm. in regard to uh, its field of study. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in the sense that mathematics is, is distinct from physics, it's distinct from philosophy, it's distinct from uh, uh, many, uh, it's distinct from computer science. In some sense, it's related. Uh, but uh, so far, we've just been discussing things related to uh, freedom versus being coarse. And I, I think on these uh, topics, math is not very particular the, the only mm. uh, way in which it's particular is that i know many people with an aversion toward math because they've been coerced and in some sense it's a bit uh uh arcane or obscure uh it's very esoteric uh it has a lot of symbols and mm. these symbols are, are not easy to decipher if uh, you've never read a certain type of novels you will be able to uh, read it from uh, cover to cover in in general uh, because it relies on other knowledge that you do know with math uh, it, it is a field a bit close on itself so if you've not done math uh, it will be harder to understand harder to understand hmm. so what what do you think it's a good point to start uh, learning math from I mean from scratch um I don't think there is one good point to start learning anything because it depends on your prior knowledge, mm -hmm. it depends on your interest, it depends on what kind of problems you're trying to solve. Uh, so uh, all attempts to uh, say what is a good point and to, to try to impose a universal good point are, are done mostly by people that... Uh, support uh, curriculum and course learning hmm. uh, in which case they, they need a starting point because all they have is, is a kind of uh, factory where you place uh, people at the start and you you have a product at the end and uh, the, the process is as uniform as possible hmm. uh, simply because it's a lower amount of uh, effort i guess yeah nice yeah keep it keep in mind sometimes i like to play the devil's advocate and, and I That's do, fine. yeah, and I do these kind of questions, even though I, it's not my uh, genuine thought. It's just for getting answers. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Then um, l let's see someone that is listening to us and wants to um, start free learning. When, uh, you know what? They have some sort of curiosity, but I had this. Um, I know how to call it. 
um, obstacles, right? That, okay, I didn't know the existence of a spin repetition, for example. So let, what, what will you suggest to, to uh, these people? To a person that doesn't know about space repetitions? Yeah, for instance, is one person that doesn't have the skill set needed to free learn math? Or I don't could, could believe we... it exists, a person without the, the skill set uh, to learn mathematics. Um, children can learn mathematics. I, I, I really don't think uh, I, I've ever seen someone without the skill set, except maybe uh, dead people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I, I get it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, um, let's let's put myself on as an example. Uh, I was coerced to do math uh, from early early age until high school. Then I did in university. I did uh, computer science, which I dropped out by the way. But I did lots of math, of pure poor math. That i what happened is that I didn't saw the point is why I'm doing all this math. I don't see the connection with programming and computer science, right? I know there's a, a component of math, but does, that doesn't mean I have to know the pure, poor math or what happens. That is true. And so on. Okay. So what happens, long story short, is that I de develop toxic memories, right? I had to do a lot of math against my will that I was not interested. But what happens is that this uh, it's been a longer than a decade already. A long time has passed. But I think I am on the same point. Is hmm, I won't consider myself learning free learning math now. Is it also possible that you don't like math much? Or pure math much? I don't know. How can I know that? Um well, it's been ten years hmm. when you've been where you've been free and uh if you've not spent time learning pure math, I, I think it suggests that uh, that you might not have interest in it. And my view is it's okay. Uh, re regarding toxic memories, uh, I was forced to read novel uh, at school, and uh, for me, only that experience was uh, desirable. But it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy reading novels for for pleasure afterward. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I, I think most likely uh, you don't see the point right now, and my view is it's okay. Nice, because this th covers another, I think, myth that they say that the school system say that everyone should know math, mathematics, right? Um, that's true. That's true, and I don't think. Uh, it's true that they say that, but mm. I don't agree that everyone should know mathematics. These are very uh, different ideas. Uh, for instance, uh, the, the reason most people forget what uh, how to solve a quadratic equation, trigonometric functions, is that they never used that at all. It, it was uh, something that had no uh, applicability, and uh, certainly from the way it's taught, it has no beauty. So, uh, if uh, a high amount of the population uh, does not see the point and does not use the, these concepts, uh, it just shows that they're not uh, that applicable in daily life. Uh -huh. uh, do you think at less degree mathematics will be useful? Like um, sums, divisions... Uh but uh, I think, I think the basic arithmetic yeah. is used in daily life. And mm. guess what? People know basic arithmetic. And uh, trigonometric mm. functions and the quadratic equations are not much used in daily life. And people don't know them. It turned out that people are quite good at figuring out uh, what they need and mm. learning it. And that it's independent of what they were course to learn. Hmm. Okay. L let me share one experience with you. You know, w once I drop out of computer science, then I change the field to the health, right? And I, I studied an undergraduate. And what happened that my cl some of the classmates, that obviously they were coerced to study math until that age, is we, in one particular day for nutrition, 
they had to calculate the percentage of uh, um, the calories of proteins in the diet, this kind of thing. And people were not able to calculate a percentage. It might be that it's uh, uh, the first time they have to do it in a long, long while. Hmm. So uh, they, they have forgotten it, but uh, I think they can relearn it if they need it. Oh, what? Okay, so you think that the um, possibility of this happening is the lack of usage? Uh, yes, and perhaps that they, they're not very interested in computing that. And I, I think uh, if... And the situation you describe is also coerced. Yep. So uh, I, 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 I can see why they would have no motivation or interest in doing uh, this task which is course, and perhaps they don't see the point of that task either. Maybe hmm. that too is an artificial problem that does not really occur in their life. Well, uh, if, well, if you want to be a nutritionist or to put on a diet, perhaps you will need to count calories. And oh, if I want 10 20% of my calories to be from fat, how much I, I think I trust their ability to solve the problems the, the problem of computing a percentage mm -hmm. when uh, the problem will occur at in real life in real life yes mm -hmm. I... yeah so the, the underlying point of my the situation i presented is that I, um the scenario is still coerced but the only difference is that it's basic arithmetic it's not something that oh it's a quadratic equation that it's a specific formula that i can forget uh, easily and so on so this, I think, this shows how powerful uh, coercion is. That even if it's basic, if you really don't want to do it, it doesn't interest you, you will fail on the task. I, I, I do agree that uh, coercion is extremely uh, inefficient uh, as a method of uh, uh, teaching anything and that the there's really no way to teach even the, the simplest concept if uh, the the person doesn't see the point. And coercion will not solve that problem. Hmm. Uh, however, I, I I trust that these people would certainly be able to compute a percentage. Uh, with uh, perhaps it would take uh, them a bit of time, but as soon as people have motivation, my, my own experience is that uh, they they become uh, able and willing to learn. Uh, just a side note, um, a little different topic, is what do you think about people who learn math, but they have, it's not the end goal. For instance, you know some kind of uh, TV shows that you have trivia questions. There's a similar setting for uh, questions about uh, implying using math. What is the prime number of na -na -na, this kind of questions that are kind of quick to answer? Uh, are you familiar with these kind of shows? Uh, I know that there are some shows that ask hmm. trivia questions about mathematics. Yeah, it, uh, you you can you can you have to do um, one division with kind of long numbers, this kind of thing, and you have like thirty seconds to answer something like that. Well, these questions have the property that uh, most people can learn them without a. Uh, too much of an advanced theory, the, the mm -hmm. audience is able to uh, understand the question. So I, I can see where there's an interest for that. Yeah, be because the end goal is not to answer just right. It's to answer right and quick. And, possi uh, and possibly to be the fastest on the show. But what happens is that that's not the goal. They don't want to learn all of this math for the sake of doing this or apl applying this knowledge. They want the prize. Perhaps it's just money, or sometimes it's just vanity, that, oh, I'm the best one on my country, or something like that. Well, I think the amount of people that win money in uh, trivia questions in mathematics <laughs> is extremely low. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've never devoted much thought to uh, that topic. Yeah, but do you think it's right if people learn math free? No one is coercing them to study it. Or to practice this math? Uh, I certainly have no problem with that. Uh, if okay. someone wants to learn mathematics for uh, the, the sake of answering a trivia question and see pleasure in that, uh, no, I, I don't have a problem with that. Okay, let, let me go further. 
look. And why, what if they don't experience pleasure? It's painful. Uh, it's painful for them, but they know they will get fame or money. I have a hard time uh, empathizing with that. I, I really don't know because uh, the the idea of doing math for uh, in a way that is not pleasurable. Mm -hmm. I, I think most people will not be able to do it too much. I I, I hope that people that memorize trivia math uh, find some pleasure in it. Hmm. Okay. So I will share another uh, snippet of my schooling experience. I think when I was 13 or 12, something like that, there, there was a, competi a competition just for math that um, some people were representing their own school, right? About five students. And what happened is that you have a team of four or five students and you compete of another, against another team that represent, is representing a different school. So it's like a league that you compete against other schools in the same city. And the, all the questions are about solving pro math problems. Uh, well, the only comment I will make is mm. that uh, th these kind of competitive settings are a bit artificial. And mm. uh, in the book uh, Free to Learn, uh, Peter Gray compares and contrasts uh, physical activity done for pleasure mm. uh, with uh, competitive activities. And uh, once we introduce competition, they tend to become uh, less inherently uh, pleasurable. And uh, also, uh, it gives rise to uh, less uh, cooperation between people because mm -hmm. you will not cooperate with someone who's uh, in the other team. And also, uh, the, the goal itself become to win rather than uh, to learn. And all this lead to a high amount of very... Uh, different uh, strategies hmm. so uh, and, and moreover math is not even an inherently uh, competitive uh, domain uh, it, it's not like a, uh, an example uh, I've learned in this survey is, uh, that contrast math uh, is a uh, chess is competitive hmm. uh, as a game uh, even if you can play for fun and perhaps that that's the best way to to learn chess and to do chess for fun uh, there is a winner and a loser uh, in a game of chess, mm -hmm. uh, but there is no such thing in math. So it, it introduced this kind of arbitrary competition. Uh, and moreover, if the goal is to create uh, some something with math, uh, I don't see these competition uh, creating much. Uh, nevertheless, I, I still respect and, and the fact that some people might find that pleasurable and it's their choice. If I have an opinion on that, I, I still fundamentally value the, the the choice and the right of people to do that. Nice. So you won't do it yourself, but you understand that some people will do it, will experience pleasure. And since the fact that it's a pleasurable experience for them, there's no issue. I, I, I think the fact that it's competitive might make it in less intrinsically pleasurable, mm -hmm. but if some people still find it pleasurable, uh, good for them. Okay. I know we will cover more topics related to math in upcoming episodes, but here I want to stay to the free learning topic. Do you want to add something I didn't ask? Um, I would need a, a question or a prompt to add something. The, the topic is too vast. Ah, it's too fast. To... There's too much to say. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, good. Okay. Okay. Good to know. So then we have lots of materials to speak about. I have more questions, but that will be in the coming episodes. Feel free to join the Discord server, and School Slavery, so you can chat with us and other people who are free learning, are discovering free learning, or are in the process. Do you want some suggestion? to people who are, may join or listen to us. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's way, way, it's like, you have something to say, Paul, <laughs> and what topic, it's just a... Yeah, it's because I always finish the, 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 the last questions, the last question I, I ask is, do you want to add something else that I haven't asked? Yeah. Uh, we have other questions. Yeah, okay. Then we will finish here. Thank you for listening to us and see you next time. We just won't. 
Education freedom.